Today, I'm with Scott Walker. He is one of the members in my uh, group coaching program called Master Heart. And, Scott, and Scott's going to be sharing some of the business lessons he's learned in, in our work together and just in building his business, growing his um, coaching business. Uh, Scott, great to have you here. Oh, thanks, George. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. So I'm going to read your bio, Scott, so that those watching have some context about the kind of work you do. And then um, we'll get into talking about the business lessons and you can also talk, tell us about the energy work that you do. So Scott Walker teaches an energy tool called Universal Sphere, which is powerful and easy to learn and use. And Scott, I'll have you talk a bit about Universal Sphere later. The technique is taught in, in, through in-person workshops, but also can be done at, at a distance uh, through sessions with Scott. Uh, Scott supports also supports people diagnosed with bipolar disorder in going from just surviving to thriving with their mental health and doing it naturally. And Scott, you and I were just talking a bit um, before this, and you've, you've of course, revealed publicly that you have uh, been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and have managed that um, quite naturally for years. Right. And so can you touch on that just a little bit so those who are watching this can hear that story? Certainly. Yeah, I appreciate you asking, George. I was diagnosed in 2000. And when I was first diagnosed, I didn't know what the heck was going on. And I, I was convinced that I would never be normal, whatever normal is, or mm. happy again. And I'm really grateful that now I'm at a place in my life where I'm mentally stable, happy, healthy, and I'm medication free with the support of various doctors that I've worked with, whether that's psychiatrists or general doctors. So some people have told me, oh, you're just special or, oh, not everyone can do that. And I'm fully, I'm fully convinced that people with a serious mental illness like bipolar disorder can do it naturally. And uh, I'm living proof of that. That's amazing. That is, that's so inspirational. So I'm definitely going to have you talk about that a bit more. Um, after we first cover some of the business lessons, uh, as most people watching the video um, are, you know, entrepreneurial uh, or or wanting to grow, start or grow a business, uh, I think some of the lessons you've learned will be beneficial and inspiring for them as well. So, um, I, I'll let you start anywhere uh, with with in terms of business lessons. Um, well, is there a particular kind of topic you want to start with? Well, I just wanted to first quickly say that I've been in a lot of business group coaching programs, mentorships, um, masterminds, strictly for business. And the group that I'm in with George is so inspiring. It's an incredibly supportive, knowledgeable, caring group of people. And uh, it's, it's just what it, George is someone who leads by example. So I just wanted to first say that, that I am so grateful and I feel blessed to be a part of George's community. Um, what he's created there is not like anything I've seen out there. Um, it's people will like, I've been the beneficiary of so many sessions and teachings and learnings from other members in the group, not only for my business benefit, but also for my personal benefit. And uh, it's just such a giving, caring nature in that group. So I just wanted to touch on that quickly at the start because that's, it's been incredible. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you mentioning that. It is really extraordinary, the, the folks who are in Master Heart and the kind of love that is there, uh, mutual support. So thank you. And yeah. so, yeah. So what have you, as you think about your business, uh, particularly the past year, but just even in previous years, what, what, is, what are some of the most important kind of things you would uh, say to somebody who gives some encouragement or some advice to those who are also growing their business? Yeah, so I do have a couple of notes here. I'm just looking down to see what I wrote so I don't yeah. forget. Yeah. Um, the overriding two pieces, I would say number one is that selling is serving. Mm -hmm. And number two, marketing through quality, relevant, and consistent content. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, um, I used to see um, my business as something that I had to be selling and I had to be doing these pitches and memorize my elevator pitch and go to these in-person networking events and right and uh, I got to admit through through Masterheart and through George modeling it I do really see that my business is is really here to serve people and it's really here to to help them and 
I do my best to have a lot of free content that people can actually get valuable information and tools that will help them right now. And that's whether they ever pay me a dime or not. Now, don't get me wrong. I certainly would love for them to be clients at some point. However, I realize that for different reasons, that's not in the cards for everybody. Um, but I really see that the content that I produce is really serving them. And I'm really doing my best um, now and moving forward to have my best content be free content. So there are some businesses out there that feel all of your best content has to be your premium content that you charge lots of money for. And I'm of the opinion that, you know what, I'd rather give people all of my content for free and then the people who desire to pay to work with me, um, it would be more refining and, and helping them and holding their hand as opposed to them paying for the content. So that's been a, a, huge, a huge shift for me. And then the marketing through quality, relevant, and consistent content. And, and I'll, um, let me just pause for you right there. Let's talk about that a little bit. I love that you have been reframing uh, your, your business from, from, from selling to serving. It is, it is such a, well, it's an energetic shift, isn't it, uh, in your relationship to your audience. Uh, and this idea of giving away your best content is powerful because then I'll tell you, as somebody who has given away <laughs> most of my content, uh, even by giving it away, we can, if we want to, monetize a package of it later. That's the, I guess, that's a secret in, in the content world that most people don't realize. Um, you know, you, you can give as much content as you want away and still your biggest fans won't have consumed all of it, number one. But they, secondly, they may not have consumed it in, the, in some kind of order that is most beneficial for a particular transformation. And so you can always, of course, decide, I'm gonna put some videos together as an online course, or you know, I'm gonna put some of my posts together as a book, or whatever it is, and still monetize that in the future. So, so we are not closing the door off from being able to sell our content, even if we give it away for free. And that's what, that's what boggles the mind, which if, if, I look at, if you look at my books, that's essentially what they are. My, my books, which I sell, you know, um, are collections of my free content. <laughs> You know, and a lot of my <laughs> workshops too, the paid workshops, a lot of it really, the content was originally developed as free content that's already out there. And so it is, it is really true what you say is that um, we don't have to be afraid to do that, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so talk about, talk about what, what you're learning in terms of, uh, in terms of quality, relevant, consistent content. Uh, yeah, so I recently started doing YouTube live videos. And for me, that was outside of my comfort zone. I've been doing Facebook live videos for about a year. But for me, YouTube, maybe it's more in my head, but YouTube is like a whole other level because it's like all of a sudden it's on YouTube and yeah. it's like anyone in the world can view it. You don't have to be on Facebook. Um, right. So I'm, I have a, a weekly YouTube live that I do called Wellness Wednesday. And uh, yesterday I did episode seven. So I do it at 9 a.m. every Wednesday, mountain time, 9 a.m. mountain Great. time. And we'll be sure to put the link to your YouTube channel in the notes of the video so folks can check it out. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. And, you know, what I'm noticing is so interesting is that not only are my target uh, clients, potential clients, people diagnosed with bipolar disorder starting to watch those videos. However, there's people in my my social circle and family that are, are starting to watch them because what I share in those videos, those live videos are essentially tips about natural mental wellness. And uh, obviously it's geared towards people with bipolar disorder. However, it is something that anyone can benefit from. And so in terms of quality, relevant and consistent content, what I'm doing with those videos is I'm actually making a plan <laughs> before doing the videos. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fumbling at times and I know even a few weeks ago I did a live where I, I hit, I hit go live. I did my little spiel and then I forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so that, that still happens once yeah. in a while. Yeah. But what I will say is that it's something that number one, I enjoy doing. 
I can see that people are starting to watch it, which of course is encouraging. And uh, I'm really doing my best in those videos to, to make sure it's every week. So that is consistent, that there's value in there and that it's relevant, that it's, it's things that people can benefit from, whether it's someone in deep despair struggling with bipolar disorder or whether it's my buddy down the street that's just curious about how we can have better natural mental health. Yeah. Um, so uh, the interesting thing is that um, as, as more and more people, um, and again, it's, it's, it's growing. It's, it's not a, a viral sort of video at this point, but I do feel that, you know, every week there's a few more people watching and a few more people watching. And then what I notice is that when I look at my overall views for YouTube, that it's jumping. And that's because I feel some people will, maybe they'll, they'll watch a bit of the Wellness Wednesday, and then they, they click on videos and they see the different videos and they're like, oh, maybe I'll check this out. Or, or I even just have a few one minute, one minute nature videos. Some people just like to see that just to kind of have a nice one minute break in their day and watch a beautiful nature scene that I've shot. Yeah, that's um, a great idea. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, I just find that encouraging. And again, that's ideally through those people seeing the videos, they, they may go to my website. They may talk about what I'm doing. They may refer someone there. Um, so that's been, uh, that's been really, really valuable for me. And I still have a ton to learn with YouTube. <laughs> I fully admit, um, but it's, uh, I'm enjoying the journey. Wow. Yeah. I love that. Um, so, and those who are watching this, you know, if you want to check out, what Scott's doing on his YouTube channel, be sure to, to click on the link in the notes of the video here. So let's uh, transition a little bit and, and start talking, sharing with us about your energy work. Um, do you want to share what you said to me before, uh, before the call about how, you know, how you're, how it's helping you right now? Um, Certainly. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so as I mentioned at the start, I'm, I'm fortunate and grateful to be mentally stable. Mm -hmm. That being said, I still have ups and downs with my moods as does everyone in life watching. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the thing with bipolar disorder is of course, when I have a get into a lower depressed state that can spiral into depression quicker for me than for the average person. And I admit on Monday this week, I realized that I was in a low state. Um, I won't get into details during this interview, right. um, but I recognized that I was definitely mildly depressed. And fortunately, I have a wide a range of tools that I've learned and that I use to turn around that state quickly. Uh, what I will say is the, the tool that is now my number one tool in my toolkit for getting me back to being mentally stable is doing universal spheres for other people because um, for anyone watching that's had that's been mildly depressed or depressed in general when someone's in that state in my experience i'm all in my head and it's all about me so what this does is wow. at a conscious level it gets me out of my head and thinking about how i can support someone else and at an energetic level what it's doing is it's raising my vibration it's raising that person's vibration and it's also adding love and light to the world, which is sorely needed. Mm. So, um, yeah. And I, I don't want to sound like a total salesman, but I will say that as soon as I did a couple of spheres for people without them knowing it coming from a space of love, of course, um, my mood instantly shifted from being mildly depressed to stable, if not in a good mood. Wow. And that was literally within 10 minutes. And I know that sounds hokey and that sounds... No, no, no. I, but I believe it was, it was I, quick. It was yeah, very that is, quick. That's amazing. Um, that's amazing. That's really, really cool. Uh, is there anything you want to talk about, you know, Universal Sphere in terms of like, well, what, what, what is it? What is it like? Uh, you know, give us kind of some, some backstory on that context. Certainly. Yeah. Thanks for asking. It's a, it's a very new energy tool came about in 2011 oh wow and it's it's referred to as a next generation energy tool um so it's something that is essentially w tapping it directly into collective consciousness and collective consciousness has love and unconditional support for all of us all the time most people are oh, unaware of that and they're not able to access it so learning an energy tool like universal sphere 
allows a person to directly tap into that unconditional love and support that's always there. And uh, every time a universal sphere is done, as I mentioned before, it adds love and light to the planet. It also raises my vibration and it rises the, raises the vibration of the planet as well. And that's an energetic vibration. As many people watching may know, our planet is in a, a time of ascension right now. There's rapid changes happening, happening environmentally, socially, culturally, you name it, um, good and bad. And uh, Universal Sphere is a tool that allows ourselves as people to add love and light to the world while raising the vibration of the planet. And, uh, and it can be done for specific things as well. Like for example, um, there was one time where I had a really upset stomach. I was going to the bathroom many times in a short period of time. Wow. And I thought, you know, what, what can I do? So I sat down. I did a sphere for myself to have an ideal, vibrant, healthy stomach. And within 20 minutes, my stomach had settled. So, wow. so even though there's all this grandiose, big picture, planetary effects of universal sphere, there's also tangible real world ways it can be used as well so that's why i love it and that's why i'm so passionate about it so great and uh you are giving a special kind of offer for those who are watching this and uh i want to talk about it i think it's exciting so um for anyone who is watching this and you're curious about experiencing universal sphere with scott in a one-to-one -one session at a distance you you know you can just do it through zoom or call phone call or something does it have to be video or is it phone or how's that work? Um, either i've done sessions by phone or video either mm -hmm. are good i just oh. had a session earlier today by phone yeah i yeah. typically prefer zoom i love to see the person yes um but again they may or may not be comfortable or desire to do that yeah. so and, i'm good and, with phone right and and also of course through, through zoom you can also turn out the video camera for the other person if they wanted to um and you are offering it usually the regular price for a session is 70 uh, Canadian dollars for a one-to-one -one universal sphere session and uh, you're offering it to those who are viewing this for half off which is fantastic and the way to get that is by emailing you right uh, and I'll put the link or put the email address in the notes of the video so emailing support at scottinsideout.com with the secret code word in the subject line which is banana Okay, <laughs> that's right. N A N A as the as a code word and a subject line, and then you'll be able to get the the half off of the Universal Sphere uh, experience session with Scott one on one, and that's very generous. Thank you, Scott. That's uh, that's very cool. I hope those watching this will, will if, if you've been curious about what Scott's talking about with his energy tool, experience it for yourself um, with Scott. So. Yeah. Yeah, you're very welcome. I know you're someone who leads by example with providing tremendous value i mean your workshops for what you charge give 10 20 times that amount of value so for me i'm more than happy to give a 50 percent discount to those in your community who are curious about this energy tool and uh, with it being en an energy tool it is something that a person has to experience yeah um as much as i've talked about what it is um once someone experiences the benefits of it, then that's, that's really the game changer in my opinion. Yeah, totally. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, those of you watching, you know, go ahead and click on the link below to find out more about Scott. And you also see the email just there to contact him if you want that 50% off session. So thank you, Scott. I really uh, am glad we did this. Is there anything else you want to say to the viewers as we close the call? I just really wanted to thank you for giving me this opportunity and for the viewers out there, just keep at it. Um, I can honestly say that my business is, has a long ways to go. Um, I, I admit that I, I still do have a job, so I'm not full time in my business. Um, there's been times and I've thought about quitting. There's been times that I wake up, I'm like, what am I doing? Why don't I go back to a, corporate job like I used to have, but I just say, just keep going and uh, the doors will keep opening when you're aligned with fantastic mentors like George. Mm. Thank you, Scott. Really appreciate that. So um, hope everyone enjoyed this video and feel free to write any comments below. Any questions for Scott, I'll certainly pass that along to him and uh, have a great day, everyone. And thanks, Scott.
Thank you very much.